Good afternoon and welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. This afternoon I'm tying a film critic, a Pale Morning Done. This is a Bob Quigley pattern. It features a hackle stacker on the front, basically a parachute post that's been folded over to give you a thorax style so that the bottom stays clean and this will sit in the film. This is a size 16 emerger hook, uh, Dairiki 125 in this case. You'll want to tie these in 16s, 18s, and even tie them in 14s every once in a while you run into some big ones. And we'll tie some of them with a pink abdomen for the waters that have that color variation, like the frying pan. The thread is an dot Uni. You do want to use a fine thread. For tail materials, <coughs> I've got some some wood duck fibers, the ones with the black and white bars, but I just peel the good looking tail feathers off of the other side. You just get a couple. And these are going to be subsurface, so they, you're not relying on them for flotation. So I make these a little bit longer. And to save some time, rather than make wraps all the way down to the bend, I'm going to go straight to the next material, which is the shuck. This is Antron. Regular old Antron on a card. I can't remember the specific color of this one. It's kind of a reddish-orange. Uh, amber works. You want something along those lines. And I'm just going to tie that in on the top and then make touching turns until the thread starts down the bend of the hook and gets those tail fibers pointed down. Then I'm going to reach under here and cut those short. This is just kind of a semi-shuck. Now, for a body material, I'm using goose biots. And I've already soaked these. It makes them look quite a bit easier to work with if you get them damp. Now when I peel it off, you see that notch? It makes a difference which direction that notch is when you wrap this. I'm going to tie it in so that it's facing up and then start my thread forward to the middle. So when I fold this over and start wrapping, that notch is facing the rear. Let me get my hackle pliers. Now the reason I've done that is you see that uh, ridge on the front? Each time I wrap, I'm going to cover that ridge. And now I've got a new ridge on the leading edge of the second wrap. So each one will fold those down. And this was the way you get a, a smooth quill body without those ridges. Now I'm just going to follow this last one over with the thread. Tie that off nice and smooth. There you go. Got a nice goose quill body. For the post and the flag I've got some EP trigger point fibers. They're a little bit finer than Widow's Web and, and that kind of stuff. And I think they're pre-treated with watershed. They've got good reputation for floating. Now, I've cut those tips off pretty square. And it's real important here that I get those well back from the eye. Because we're going to fold this over, tie it down, and then stand up the yarn. And that fold's going to take some space. Much easier if you preserve it right here. Now I've got a saddle feather. This is a light ginger. You can use a pale yellow. And I've stripped some barbules off the very bottom. And I'm just going to tie it in right next to the post. 
Now I've got some super fine dubbing that's PMD color. Now the diameter of this thorax is important because if it's too small when you pull your post over all the hackle fibers are going to stick straight down and you kind of lose the thorax effect. If it's too fat when you pull it over all the hackle fibers will stand straight up and it will sink deeper in the water than, than the surface film. So, I'm going to twist the yarn, hold it in a gallows tool if you got it. I just got it tightly in my right hand. And start wrapping your hackle towards the top. Four or five turns. What I need to do is get it so that it covers the thorax. And they don't have to be terribly dense because you're going to. There you go. Turn around and go right back through. Now you see how the hackle fibers spin on that? What I'm going to do is pull it tight, drop the feather down, and then loosen it. And that will help me get my next turn to jump over the stem and start downwards. Two or three. Now when I get to the bottom, I'm just going to tug it right up in the corner and fold the yarn down. Now I didn't even have to tie that feather in. It's going to be bound down by this yarn. two wraps. And I'm tugging the back towards the hackle. The reason is I that will leave me space to build a dam of thread in front just to get that post to stand up straight. Now there's a lot of tension on these thread wraps so I always use head cement on this one. I do kind of a wet whip, get some water-based head cement on it. And it stroke everything out of the way so you can get a nice clean head pushing back against that post. There we go. Now for visibility we take a black sharpie and just above the length of the hackle we'll make some strokes to darken it up. that a little longer than the hackle. You can reach under here and cut this stem really close because it's bound down by the yarn. It's not going anywhere. Now to make it neat in your box or in the bin we can take a little time and stroke those fibers back forward and then go to the bottom and stroke them away from the bottom and there you got a nice clean underside this thing's going to sit up in the surface film a lot of fun to fish, the fish like this one Bob Quigley's Film Critic